Welcome to Ultimate Seat CV. Today we're going to show you how to change out the seat on your Spider RT. The first step will be removing the passenger backrest. First, open up the trunk and loosen these top two bolts just a bit. You don't have to remove them all the way. So you'll need a T20 for these bolts. The plastic piece that they are holding down will slide out when you remove the stock passenger backrest. Now with your T30, you'll remove the three bolts that hold the passenger backrest to the front of the trunk. As an installation tip, don't push in on the bolts when you're removing them. If you push in too hard, the nuts that are built into the stock passenger backrest can be pushed into the stock pan and lost. Now with those three bolts out, all you need to do is close the trunk, reach around, and pull the passenger backrest off. With the passenger backrest removed, now it's time to remove the regular seat. Pull up the seat so the hydraulic is fully extended. Reach down inside the hole and unclip the passenger sensor. With the sensor removed, now we need to remove the hydraulic arm. Get a little flathead screwdriver and pop the clip at the top. And then at the bottom as well. Remove the arm and put the seat back down. So to illustrate what we just did, we'll take a flathead screwdriver and show you how we put it inside the clip and pull it towards you, which releases the arm. Both ends are released the same way. What we're showing you here, we've actually got the seat removed already and we're stuffing a rag into the place we call uh, Never Never Land. This is a, a really, really good idea uh, to put this rag here. You'll see it where it sits now at the back of the seat. Uh, the reason we're putting the rag in there now and, and clipping this in is because during this shot, as you see, um, yeah, we lost uh, one of the bolts in the Never Never Land. So unless you have some sitting around like we do, we recommend putting the rag uh, over the hole. Now the wrench that we're using now, we, we mentioned in our written uh, installation instructions, and it really helps because you can turn the handle uh, clockwise or counterclockwise either to tighten or loosen compared to your regular ratcheting motion to remove this bolt. Fast forward to getting a new bolt into the seat so we can show you removing the bolt. Um, we tried to show you as as best we could what you're doing here but quite honestly you're gonna have to do most of this by feel on the left hand side you can see there's a square nut that we just pulled off and then the right hand side is the bolt that we pull out now we'll do the bolt and nut on the right hand side again going by feel uh, the bolt will be in your left hand this time and the nut will be in your right. Now it's time to remove the seat and something that's very very important that we're going to show you here is why you also need to put that rag to cover Never Never Land are these spacers. Again just not another part that uh, you want to lose but can easily be dropped down that hole. Something else to mention is if you don't have the correct torques to remove these bolts, a 4 millimeter Allen key will also work. During this part of the installation, it's, it's helpful to have your stock seat next to your new ultimate seat because you're going to be changing uh, pieces of the OEM hardware from the stock seat, like the sensor, um, over to the ultimate seat. Now you'll notice when you're going to install the sensor on your ultimate seat that we don't have the arm that pushes up into the foam like the stock Can-Am seat does. Uh, the reason we don't is we made our foam the proper depth so the foam will actually push against the sensor and doesn't need to have the, the uh, additional arm.
Now back to the OEM seat, we'll remove the bolt that hooks into the top of the hydraulic arm. Once you've got it removed, take it over to your ultimate seat where we've already got the hardware ready to go. Now back to the OEM seat for the uh, slam latch. First thing we need to do is break the uh, lock nuts loose at the bottom and then we'll remove the, uh, the latch from the seat. Holding this latch on is a, is a nut and you can put that, uh, put that away in your spare parts and storage because you won't need that because we already have the, uh, the, uh, that part of it built into our seat. Now you just screw this in about finger tight because you'll make your final adjustments when the uh, uh, seat's on the bike. Here you'll want to take either some grease or some Vaseline because it's a bit more sticky and put it on the uh, spacers that we pointed out earlier when we remove the seat. This will aid in the install process of putting the new seat on by holding it in place. The first step of putting your new ultimate seat on is lining up those spacers in the back on the bike and then lifting up the seat and hooking the sensor up back to the bike. Next step is lining up the, the latch that we said that we'll have to adjust later, and we still will need to adjust that later, but line that in and line that up and, and, and shove it in. That way we can move back to the back of the seat and put the bolts and the nuts back in place. Again, make sure that rags uh, over top of the hole so we don't lose any parts. The left hand side will be first, which means that your nut will be in your left hand and the bolt will be in your right hand. Once you've got those started, just go finger tight on the left hand side and then start putting in the uh, bolt and the nut on the right hand side. Again, this time bolt left hand and nut in your right hand. Now we'll adjust the key latch. So you'll take your wrench and tighten it uh, fairly tight and once it's tight, we'll check the alignment to make sure it's square where we want it. Adjusted properly, it'll just have a little bit of movement like you see here. And at this point, go back to the back of the seat and finish tightening down the bolts that hold the back of the seat to the bike. It's important not to over tighten the bolts in the back of the bike. We recommend 18 foot pounds of torque. Now we'll put the hydraulic arm back on. So now you'll just take the arm, snap it on the bottom, and then on the top. Now you'll put the seat back down so the key latch is engaged and the seat's installed. Now the option with all of our seats is the rider backrest. The bracket's already built into every seat, regardless if you get the option or not. There's a plunger bolt inside that snaps into place for the uh, groove that's in the back of the post for the rider backrest. The rider backrest moves forward and backward with a thumb screw so they can adjust your position and your back support. Also, they have a pouch that's zippered. This is a good place to keep toll money or insurance cards and when you're leaving the bike it's velcroed onto the back of the backrest so you can remove it. Also, the backrest flips up and down making it easier for your co-rider to get on and off the bike. Now we'll remove the plastic piece off the OEM passenger pad because we're going to reuse it 
with our seat. So you just use a flathead screwdriver, unscrew them, and then pop them up like we're showing you here. And we'll show you how to put it back on the bike. So now we'll reinstall that plastic piece that we just removed off the OEM passenger pad. We'll first put it on the uh, front of the trunk and then open the trunk where you'll be able to see better. Now take the plastic piece and in those grooves you'll slide those um, Torx head bolts uh, in the grooves of the plastic piece. And you don't need to tighten them up. Uh, they'll stay in place once the ultimate backrest is in place. So now go ahead and close the trunk and place the new ultimate backrest in place like that. Now we'll move around to the back and put in the uh, three Torx bolts that you took out of the OEM passenger backrest. Once you've got all three bolts started, go ahead and tighten them down. Once you've got the bolts tightened down, then it's time to close the trunk and installation is complete. The last thing we'll look at is the optional fuel door that's available on the uh, Spider RT. Uh, it'll come with a set of keys uh, because the door is lockable and just makes it uh, a nice option so you don't have to lift the seat every time you want to fill the tank. Thanks for watching our installation video for your Can-Am Spider RT seat. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to give us a call 877-672-0288. Thank you.